I apologize for that. And so here we are inside of Lightroom. This is a picture submitted by Henry McCrea. So we're going to open this into Photoshop. So we're going to choose edit as a smart object inside of Photoshop. Um, and thank you, Bruce, for letting, letting me know. And thank you everyone else for letting me know. But don't worry, you haven't missed anything. So what I want to do in here is we're going to do something similar to what we did before. Well, let me straighten this first. So I'm just going to grab the straighten tool. So it's under the crop tool. Actually, we're not going to do it that way. I'll show you a different way of doing it. This is kind of fun. So you can do it under the crop tool if you want. You just drag on the corner. But let me show you a different way. If we grab the eyedropper tool, go down to the ruler. And then when you get in the ruler, just drag this across the horizon. And if you see at the top here, it says straighten layer. Click there and that will straighten the layer. So that's another way of straightening this. And I'm just going to do not want to delete the crop pixels. We're just going to crop this in a little bit and hit enter. That's one way you guys can crop a photo, uh, can straighten a photo. It's actually quite easy. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer. So we're going to do something similar to what we did. But what I want to do is do rather than using adjustment layers, we're going to use camera raw for bringing out the highlights. So I'm going to take the background layer, I'm going to right click and I'm going to rasterize it. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want it to change. If I go into the smart object, it's going to change both of those. So let me just double click on the smart object. We're going to go in. And what we're looking to do here is we're looking to bring out detail. So as I brighten it up, it's brightening up the highlight. So you want to compensate, bring that back in the highlight. And then we're going to take the shadows and we're going to crank these. So as I was saying before, we just want to find the detail here in the sand, the texture and the rocks, and that is going to work superbly. So click OK. So all we need to do now, I don't want to do this to the whole image. I kind of like some of the mood that Henry captured in there. So what I'm going to do is just create a layer mask. But if I hold down the Alt or the Option key as I create this layer mask, it's going to hide that layer. So this is what's known as an inverted mask. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint with white. So with that mask selected, white selected as the foreground color, we're going to choose a brush. There's our brush tool. Let's hit our pressure sensitive settings. And now if you just joined us, you know, if you go and look at the live stream and go back to the settings, I showed exactly how to set this up earlier on. So you guys can watch that. The replay will be live when we're done. We just choose shape dynamics, pen pressure. Great. And now I just want to paint with white using the pen pressure. So I'm just going to make the brush a little bit bigger. And I can just gently paint. It looks like size is happening there too. I see that. Let's tap on there and shape dynamics. We don't want shape dynamics. We want transfer opacity pen pressure. See how it was just kind of not nice. It wasn't smooth. Now watch what happens. Now when I go here, it's smooth. And so now we can just gently paint in. And I'm just shading these in. I'm not even going full force. Maybe I want a little bit more of that texture going across this area. And I'm just gently shading. So I'm using pen pressure to build this up. I'm not just bringing back the rock. You know, you could just paint in the rock, but I'm, I don't want to do that. I want to keep some shadow in here. I want to hit certain areas, let those highlights come through. See, if I hold down the shift key and hit the mask, you can see there's the whole thing showing, but we're not showing the whole thing. We're just where we want the light to be kissing it. We're starting to show some of that texture. And let's do the same on these cliffs. Is this the cliffs of Dover? I, I If it is, let me know. I, I don't know. But I know they're white like this. And so I'm just going to have like a little bit of that kind of hitting in here. What a beautiful scene. And fantastic capture, Henry. Um, just really nice to capture. And I have a little bit of sun in here. Are you here, by the way? Say hi if you're in there. Um, You guys all see the screen now. Yeah, the screen is working. If you don't see the screen, hit the refresh key. Uh, just refresh your, your feed and, and it will show up. All right, so let's get a little bit more of just a little bit of the rock kind of showing here in the shoreline, I just think would be nice. So we're starting to see just a little bit of detail. And so this is 
very therapeutic. This is like, it's like painting. I'm not going to call this a painting because it's not. It's a photograph. Like, that's a pet peeve is when people take a photo and they smudge it or do stuff. And they call it a painting because that's really disingenuous to people that do paint. Um, you know, if it's a photo, just say, guys, it's a photo. Don't say it's a painting. I know you guys don't do that, but I've seen it. You've all seen it. All right, so we're just kind of shaping that, and it's just very, very enjoyable. Um, so what I'm going to do now is have a little bit of light coming through up here because we know it's brighter. So wherever I paint, we're going to get that little brighter area, and it's going to open up those highlights. And I wouldn't mind even a little texture across here, maybe a little bit coming through. So I'm just gently painting. See what I'm doing? Just gently painting around this area of the rock and see how we're just slowly building it up barely touching this pan to the surface just kind of building some of this in there we go maybe just a little halo around here in the sky all right and let's see what we did so if we look at this here's the before and there's the after and see how we're just slowly starting to paint in those details um, showing this so what we're gonna do right now guys is uh, get ready with your questions we are painting with light you're right Tracy um, but it's still a photograph it's not a painting even though we're painting on the photo yeah and it is super Zen rod you're right so what we're gonna do now though is we're just going to get your questions ready I'm gonna do in a soft close and then we're gonna go into afterglow uh, for those of you who don't know what it is the afterglow is uh, where we do questions and answers and we hang out and have a little community time. And um, But some people got a jet. They've got to go it's on the hour. So it's the top of the hour right now. So we're just going to quickly close that out. So thanks, guys, for watching. If you like this, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Smash it into dust. Um, and if you haven't yet subscribed to Photoshop Cafe, consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications and then you'll get a notification when we're live and also when we do our regular videos our live streams at 1 p.m pacific time every thursday and every tuesday morning at 4 a.m pacific time i drop a brand new 